What's up, everybody? Y'all, your girl is drained. Your girl is tired. I've been running around all day trying to make sure I got everything. You know, my bag is packed. I had to go through over my bag, make sure everything is good um, before I actually ship off. But like I said, in this video, I do want to go over with you guys on um, what all did I pack um, before I go off to BMT. So y'all, this bag, <laughs> this bag weighed probably almost as me. I got a, brought a big duffel Nike bag that I got from um, Ross, um, which I only paid $20 for the bag, um, duffel bag. But yeah, um, pay only $20 for the bag. So uh, let me go ahead and <clears throat> get right into what I, what did I pack? What did I have so far in my bag? So just bear with me in this video and try to keep it short. So, um, um, like I said, I'm joining the Air Force and the app that I have downloaded on my phone, which it's, um, delay entry program for the Air Force, um, which I had it in my, um, previous video, um, whatnot so if you want to go back and look at that video that's fine but um yeah so what i end up getting to um pack my bag for bmt is i got some black socks that i got from walmart i forgot how much i paid for them but i want to say probably no more than ten dollars for this it's a 10 pack um boys socks i don't know if it's boys female socks i don't care but I got me some socks, some high knee socks from Walmart. Um, I should probably separate all this stuff out. Then I got me some underwears, some white underwears, um, six packs. And I also got these from Walmart, which I didn't really pay a lot. Um, probably no more than, I want to say... Mm, six to seven dollars for a pack also i have a black pair too so um yeah but i probably won't wear the white ones um because <laughs> especially you know for you females out there um i have to wear black underwears uh, when it comes for me to have my time of the month kind of thing so i rather prefer wearing black underwears so yeah but when i'm not on my cycle i can probably wear the white ones but yeah um then I also have some spandex um, capris and some shorts. Um, I got a pair of Under Armors and Nike that I went to the outlets and um, got from there. Then I also got some plain solid t-shirts um, that I got from Walmart, um, which probably no more than like four or five bucks for each t-shirts. So I got like a light gray, a dark gray, a navy, a black. So I got about five. But um, yeah. And like I said, pretty much I've, I was following everything from this. Um, What I was packing in my bag, I followed everything from the app, what I needed. And I'm quite sure they'll provide you some stuff while you're there at basic training. But I'd rather go ahead and get some of the stuff so that way... I don't have to get it while I'm there. But if I end up leaving out something for my bag, I can probably most likely get it from while I'm at um, BMT. Okay. So I also got some white pair of socks that I got from Walmart too. Um, I got these when they were on sale or whatnot. Um, put this back in the bag. Then I'm taking about three or oh, three pair of jeans. Um, that I got from Walmart too. Um, these are kind of high-waisted skinny jeans, um, which I don't like boot um, bootleg jeans and hot. But um, I will be carrying about three pair of jeans with me. Um, oh, also too, um, you guys out there, ladies, gents, please like write, like initial your name on your stuff because I don't know if people steal and be at uh, basic military training. I don't know, but... The safest thing to do is write your name on any of your clothing, um, I mean, your shoes, your products and stuff like that, your hygiene products, your um, 
whatnot. I mean, your personal stuff, write your name, put, you know, so that way you, that person can say, oh, but that's mine. It's like, no, because it has my initial on it. Whose other initials, you know, would that be besides mine, you know? So also, like I said, label your stuff with your name on it. And then, um, I also brought, uh, maybe six bras, sports bras. Um, this one I got from Under Armour, um, as you can tell. And then I got, um, got a white one here. Okay, got a white sports bra. So yeah, and then I got a dark gray one as well. I got a dark gray sports bra. But yeah, um, I got all those, well, some of those from Walmart. And they weren't that expensive neither. So for you ladies out there that's needing to um, have sports bra, that if you're packing well, for a sports bra in your bag, make sure they're black, white, or gray no kind of fancy color orange green purple yellow uh-uh you don't go to basic military training with those funky weird colors underwears and um sports bras or they're gonna probably send you home or they're probably gonna chew you out so please don't be one of those type of people <laughs> going there with mix and match underwears and bras at bmt okay um What else did I get? I got some um, pads, some tampons. You know, of course, you know, when my cycle comes on, I can be able to use these. Um, it tells you to get like a month supply. So I end up getting, just for backup, I end up buying these from Walmart um, as well. So, um, yeah. So definitely, definitely need these um, while you're at BMT. So I got like some pads some tampons and some light pads like when my cycle's about to like about to go off so i definitely need those um let me see what else also i got some hand sanitizer i'm quite sure they probably they probably will provide this you know um to you when you get there but i brought some hand sanitizers um that was a good thing um i brought a belt to hold my britches up, so I brought a belt. Got this from Walmart as well. Um, what else did I get? Um, hair products. So I end up getting some donut buns to support my hair um, when I pin my hair up with my braids or my natural hair. So I end up getting these. I got these for Forever 21, which is like $1.99. And then I end up getting some gel to kind of slick my hair back once I take my braids out. I need to slick my edges with um, some gel. I got some gel that I also got from Walmart. And y'all, to be honest with you, majority of my stuff I got from Walmart. So um, then I got some bobby pins, some black bobby pins. Oh, okay. Hair donut buns, hair ties, and bobby pins. They have to be whatever your hair color is. So if my hair, my natural hair color is black, I'm getting black donut military bun or black bobby pins or black um hair twisties. So um, yeah, whatever your natural hair color is, make sure you get whatever the same color your natural hair is. And I got some scrunchies that I got from Walmart as well, um, which I probably didn't pay as much. I don't remember the exact price. Um. Got some additional scrunchies just in case some pop. So, yeah. Um, so, those are my hair junkie products. And also, I have some um, some makeup. Like, what I got, I'm not going to take everything from out the bag, but, you know, I got, like, um... Some concealer, some um, some a brow brow pencil, some mascara, um, some face mist, um, some um, foundation, some foundation powder, some makeup remover, some bronzer. All that stuff is in here. That's in this bag. So I guess you know when it comes to graduation time, you can like use makeup. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like beat my face to where my face is on fleek. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to add a little light here and there or whatever. But this is what's in this bag. Um, 
I don't know if I overpacked too much, but listen, guys, it's better to pack more than what you need than less than what you need. You see what I'm saying? But like I said, they're gonna you can buy stuff while you're at BMT, but I'd rather prevent from buying stuff while I'm at BMT, which I already have it on hand. So, um, oh, you guys, when you're writing people, make sure you know you buy you some stamps. I end up buying me some stamps. Um, I brought like two sheets of stamps, um, which they were like maybe I went to the postal service. They was probably like eleven dollars sheet, and you get like twenty stamps for eleven dollars. I don't know if it's like that any other postal service place, but yeah. Then I also have some sharpies, some ink pens, some black ink pens. The sharpies are black um, as well that I got from the Dollar Tree store, but the stamps, you know, like I said, I got from the postal service um, USPS. Okay. Um, then also got some envelopes that I got from the dollar store. So that way when I write people, I got, you know, um, some envelopes there. Also notebooks. I got some notebooks so that when I write people, I'm going to use these two notebooks. If I go through one or another, I end up messing up. So, um... Then I got another military um, donut bun. Then I have a brush uh, for me to slick back my hair, my natural hair, not with my braids in, but my natural hair. Got that. And then I got some edge controllers. You know what I'm saying? You got to, you know, lay these, edge, lay, lay these baby edges down. So I got some edge controllers that I got from the dollar store. Um, then I got some shampoo and some conditioner. When I take my braids out, I can, you know, use these. And I got the, oh, make sure you get travel size. Please, y'all, please get travel size. Because um, it's very important, you know, I don't feel like you want your MTIs or your instructors to throw something out if it's a little too big than what you need. But these are the three fluent outs. So this should carry me over for at least, you know, um, a month or so. Depends on how heavy I'm using. Because I am heavy-handed with using um, products. <laughs> so I ended up buying a small tooth comb, um, a bone tail comb that I got from Walmart as well. Like if I want to kind of like slick my, comb my edges or whatever. Then I got the big wide, you know, detangler comb for my natural hair. Okay. So I got a small one and I got a big one. And then I also got some chapstick. Because you know I'll be going at in, at BMT around the winter time. So I definitely need to keep my um, lips moisturized as well. So I'm adding that back in the bag. Y'all, let me tell you what. I came, a sister came prepared. And I'm not playing. Like, a sister came prepared. I'd rather have more than what I need than less. You know, a little than what I need. So, very important to me. Bring a lot of stuff. So, okay, yeah. And then um, I have my personal hygiene that's all in this bag. As you can tell, I pack, I pack more than what I should. I pack so much, y'all. I'm telling you, my bag is heavy. It is heavy. Um,. So I have some um, shave gel, a little travel size that I use, and it's about 2.5 ounces. That's enough to carry me over because I really don't have to um, butt shave under my arms or any, I mean, pretty much. I, mean, I don't have to shave my legs because I don't grow hair on my legs. <laughs> so um, lucky me, but also have a, um, a bath sponge that I can use. Also some razors um, that I got from the dollar store as well. I'm gonna carry me over and I got some toothpaste, travel size toothpaste. Make sure you get a travel size. So pretty much everything that I have in my bag is pretty much travel size. You don't want to go there with a big bottle of lotion or something like that. Don't, don't, don't do that. And then I got me a um, 2.6 ounce of um, deodorant uh, for sensitive skin dove that I got from Walmart. Then I got um, two um, toothbrush. Just in case, if I lose one, I got a backup or one fall on the floor. Um, then I have some travel size. Oops, then I have some travel size lotion. Some travel size lotion, um, which this is a good brand too. That I got this from Walmart as well. 
So, um, like I said, I kind of didn't want to pack a lot, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Then, of course, I got three of the three fluent ounce um, um, travel size body wash from Dove as well. I got two of those. And then one dial um, three fluence ounce as well, um, body wash as well. So all these are pretty much travel size. I may not, I'll probably go through one or two, but I brought three just for backup. So yeah. Yep, got that. Then I brought some um, face cleaner and some moisturized lotion, some more. Cause y'all, let me tell you what. It's coming in the wintertime, and I may have to lather myself in that lotion. And like I said, I'm heavy-handed with um, cleaning products for my body. So, yeah. Um, that's why I got an extra of a little in everything. Okay, let me put that back in um, And then, of course, you know, my bag. I'll have my medical, you know, document, you know, my paperwork, which I'll show you that as well. Um all I have in my bag oh and I um do wear glasses so I have to bring my prescription glasses and my contact lens as well um so I'll have that in the bag with me I'm quite sure that's already packed in my bag already packed in my bag and then I have an address book I put my little symbol on the bottom I'm gonna have an address book with everybody contact um information in here that I store that I got from out my um, cell phone and then I kept all my medical um, documentation or other paperwork in here that I got from Walmart as well I only spent about five dollars so like I said majority of my stuff comes from Walmart and um, the dollar store or whatnot so um yeah that just kind of sums up um what all that I pack in my bag um like I said I know my bag it oh my gosh you guys it feels so heavy but i know that they're gonna provide stuff to you while you're um uh, while you're there also too i have some running shoes as well um which i don't hold on just a second okay so these are my old running shoes um, where they're training shoes, but I count them as my running shoes. Like when I go to the gym and everything. So I just use these, you know, these as running shoes and whatnot. And it's fine, but I'm quite sure they'll provide you running shoes, but they may not be the best at BMT, but just take them, you know? So, but yeah, these are probably, I'm going to wear these when I um, ship out or whatnot. And while I'm um, doing PT as well. So, um, yeah, like I said, I got everything packed, everything good to go. Also, too, I'll be packing a couple of masks because it is, you know, we're still, you know, going through the pandemic um, around this year. So um, you want to stay masked up or whatnot. But, yeah, um, that's pr pretty much what all I have for you guys on, you know, what all that I pack in my bag um, for BMT as well. Um like I said, some people they can go light, but like I said, I, I I went extra, okay? Because I wanted to make sure I had backup. So that way I wouldn't have to buy things there while I'm at BMT versus I already have the stuff on hand. But yeah, um, if you guys, you know, you have any questions, you know, about you know what all you should pack for your bag, um, just comment below, you know, um or whatnot. And if you enjoy watching this video, um, just give me a like, like my video, give me a thumbs up, um, and also su subscribe to my channel, please. That's very important if you know you subscribe to my channel, uh, which I would much appreciate it. So also to you guys, I got my hair braided. My best friend, she braided my hair um, to get me prepared for BNT, you know. So. <laughs> yeah, so. But yeah, um, like I said, thank you guys for watching um, this video. I appreciate it. And you guys have a good one. Bye. See you soon.